Hello, it's Maureen Legas here with your 21 Days 2018 series, and today is day 13. So we're going to continue speaking about dot loop today. We have a few things to talk about. So the first thing is, let's say that you want to um, uh, create a uh, listing presentation in dot loop, all with PDFs. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to add a folder and then I'm going to call it listing presentation. That way we're not mixing up any documents with listing paperwork or offer paperwork. And since it's not really important to the office, I'm going to move it to the bottom of all of our folders. So down here at the bottom, there's my listing presentation. And I want to add documents from my computer that are going to make up my listing presentation. So I click Browse and I go pull in some documents, maybe the syndication flyers, uh, testimonials, 10 steps to selling your house, about expired listings. And I pull in some files that I want to be part of my listing presentation. And now I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them in order about how that I want to discuss them. So let's say I put the testimonials here and I have the syndication flyers here, expired listings, 10 steps to selling your home. Let's say I want that at the top and I have this all in a specific order and they're all PDFs. So what I want to do is click on that and then I'm going to download the PDFs and they're going to create one PDF out of all of these documents. So I can share it now with uh, clients on an iPad. I can email it to them. Instead of emailing separate documents, it can be one document. So let's click download and it will open up a window where I'm going to put that and I, I'm going to call it listing presentation. So you can have as many documents in here as you like as part of your PDF. I'm going to call it listing presentation. I'm going to save it here and then it's going to download that and save it on that um, uh, in that folder. So now let's say I have the listing presentation, I have all of that, and now I can send that off to clients uh, or show it to them on my iPad. So that's how you uh, create one PDF for multiples. Now let's say you want to create, um, uh, you want to separate a PDF that you receive. So let's say that you received an offer on your property. So here in the offer folder, let's add the documents. I'm going to go back to templates and let's say you receive this offer from um, one of the agents in the area. It's an as is contract. Let's say that you have um, the brokerage relationship in there. Let's say you have um, oops, it goes fast sometimes for me. Let's say you have your defective drywall. Let's say that there's an escrow deposit verification form. And this all came over as an offer. So let's say homeowners association. You have all of these documents that came in as an offer. So give me a minute to create that. I'm going to create a pretend offer. Hold everything. So here's my pretend offer. I'm going to save that. So I'm taking all of these offer documents and putting that in pretend offer. And now I'm just going to get rid of these just for the purpose of showing you how I'm going to archive these just to show you how you can split apart an offer if it comes in. So let's say that you get receive an offer from someone who does not use dot loop. And so you have these PDFs. So they email it to you. You're going to click to browse. Whoops. And this is an offer that came in an email that you saved to your computer. And here's the PDF, pretend offer. You're going to put that in your offer documents folder. Close this. And now you have a pretend offer. And if we open that up, we'll see, let me get rid of these. If we open this up, we're going to see that our pretend offer has a whole bunch of documents. So here's page one. Let me move this out of the way so we can see. Here's page one. 
if I roll through, I could see page one, page two, page three. This is all part of the offer all through page 12. And roll down here to page 12. That's the offer. 11, page 12. So one through 12 is the offer. Page 13 is the single agent notice. Okay. Um, then if I roll down here, I'm making notes. Page 14 is your defective drywall. Keep going. Page 15 is your escrow deposit. And you're pretending this is all filled out from an agent that um, sent you an offer. And that's page 15 and 16 for your escrow deposit. Page 17 is still part of the escrow deposit. Page 18 is the HOA. Let's see if we have any more. Page 19 is part of the HOA. And page 20, some additional documents that we just put in here. So page 20 till the end um, is just extra stuff. So now we have this that we received from the agent, and let's say that the seller has pre-signed everything except this offer. So we don't want to have to send everything to the seller. We want to break it apart. So what we do is up here at the top under file, we say split the document. And it says how many documents do you want to split it into? Well, we have the offer, we have the um the what come what did I say after the offer? Hold on here. We have the offer. We have the single agent agreement, so that's two documents. We have the uh, defective drywall, that's three documents. The escrow deposit, four documents. The HOA, five documents. And then a bunch of stuff which we did define after, so those documents. So I'm going to split this into one, two, three, four, five, six different documents. So I'm going to change this, split into six documents. The first document is page 1 through 12, that's the offer. The second document is page 13, 13 through 13. That's the single agent agreement. Defective drywall, 14 to 14. Um, escrow deposit is page 15 to 17. The uh, HOA is page 18, so 18 to 18. And then the rest of it is just miscellaneous stuff that, that got uploaded. So we just, um, it's stuff that we can split that into six or eight or however many packages that you want. But for this example, I'm not worrying about what's here. But you can, you would split that up separately if you were doing this on your own. You split this up however the document's defined. So the first one I'm going to put offer. The second one I'm going to put um, single agent notice. Then the third thing is going to be the defective drywall. That's an addendum. Then you're going to have the escrow deposit receipt. Then you're going to have the HOA disclosure. And then whatever else, I'm just going to call it stuff. So whatever else is after that. So you're going to split this up. It's 26 pages. And then I'm going to click to split documents. And what you'll notice is once it's done, so we want to let me extend this a little bit. You see that it's done. You click done. And once it's done, you're going to see that here at the top, it's going to define what it is. And as you roll through all the pages, so if I go down past page 12, page 10, page 11, page 12, you'll see page 13 changes to the new name. Page 14 changes to the new name. And when you click to go back to your list, you're going to see that all of the documents in the offer folder now have the new name. So now you all you have to do is send the offer to your client instead of all of the documents that were sent over into one form. So we learned how to add a bunch of um, PDFs and create one PDF and we learned how to take one PDF and break it into several PDFs. So that's um, splitting the PDFs and creating a PDF. All right, so I hope you have a great day.